namin. Tapos, nagkaroon syempre ng mga consequences, nagkaroon ng limitations, but pagkahalimbawa, syempre, hindi naman laging perfect, di ba? Pag nagkakaproblema kami, bumabalik ako doon, doon sa naramdaman namin na yun, noong 2010. And yun yung nare-remind ako doon ng film na pag first love, parang pure, walang pag-aalindangan, hindi mo iniisip na sasaktang kanya. Ganun. Thank you, Bea. And for Derek Paul, how about you, uh, for Tony and yourself? Out of this film? Uh, yeah. Out well, I think, uh, um, I think for me the biggest, uh, for me now in my life as a filmmaker, the reason maybe I have matured you know, from my films before is because of uh, the fact that Tony is now the mother of my child. So there's a new kind of love, there's a new kind of first love that Tony and I are experiencing. You know? This kind of super unconditional love that we have for Sebi. Uh, I, I, I was telling uh, Tin and when, when he was born and I just had met him you know, like the first minute I was like, in my heart, in my life, I was like, I would do anything for this little boy. You know? But I'm, I, I've never loved something or someone so much. And I just met that, I just met Seve. You know? but so that's the new kind of first love that Tony and I are kind of uh, experiencing now. And I bring that passion, that new kind of love to the films I'm doing now. And with first love, it was just for me full of love and full of passion because the movie also had a share of just many challenges. It was a very challenging film. I, I have said this in uh, some previous interviews that it was very mentally challenging for me. Maybe not as physical, but it was mentally challenging just because of, uh, of just the story, how intricate it was, the characters. And how do you put this all together so that everyone can experience something different in cinema? So with the reaction on the first day, that's why I'm very grateful and I'm very thankful that from the tweets, from the posts on Facebook and Instagram, they're tagging me and that I, I'm reading all these experiences. So going, it, it, I'm really, really proud of the movie. I stand by it. And no matter what, this will this, this is a film I'll never forget. Thank you, Derek. And for Edward, what is your uh, takeaway on this uh, movie since uh, you haven't feel yet or experienced first love? How will you go and apply it on your personal life? Yeah, that's a hard uh, question to answer. I mean, um, I guess one of the things I, I should take away from it, and I think people my age should take away from it, is that you have to be brave sometimes. You have to really be willing to, to take that chance. Because er everyone's scared of, like, you know, Lee, uh, one of my favorite actors, Liam Neeson, he said, uh, love um, is the, everyone says love is painful. And, uh, and he disagrees. He says, uh, no, rejection is painful. Being forgotten is painful. Um, you know, getting hurt, it, that's painful. But love is the only thing that makes it not hurt. It makes it worth going through all of that. Um, and that's something that you have to, I, I guess. I mean, I, I'm just taking this from people. Uh, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm 18, so I, I haven't experienced it at the level that these two have as well. Um, but it's just have to you have to be brave, and that's one of the that's a part of the movie that that uh, Carpe Diem sees the sees the day, um, YOLO, I guess if you want. You have to learn to to take a chance sometimes, and that's not just in love life. That's um, something that you have to take in in life in general. Um, if you want to achieve something, you really have to go for it. You can't you can't have a fifty percent uh, you know fifty percent effort. You have to put in everything you have um, because. It, even if you achieve, but you only put in 50% effort, it's not going to be worth it. It's going to be, you don't, you don't mm -hmm. want that. You don't want that. So you, when you achieve something, you want to have everything. So be brave, you know. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, everyone, and congrats. Thank you. Edward, you want to talk about it?